What's up, Future Fighters? We are back, and we have come up with something really, really good, I think. So what we're going to do first is we are going to set a transition type first. And we're going to do that here in Choose Move. Uh, just want to make sure I copy the variable. V transition type. Don't want to type things if I don't have to. Now, I'm setting them setting the tr these transition types differently in um, different areas of this particular code and um, having the having the script kick back to the main AI code um, you know the the transition type isn't going to it's not going to matter, but it has to be set because everything goes through end combo, and that's why these move settings are so important. And that's kind of why we did that. If you're interested in, in learning about that, go to the previous set of videos. Uh, so today, this is going to be what is this number four that we're doing right now? No, this is number five. So this is part five of today. So you have to go back. Um, four more videos and then the previous 11 videos in the making of Future Fighter playlist on YouTube. If you go back to those videos, uh, that's the previous session. You can see what we did. So, so, um, transition type is going to be, like I said, it's going to be different depending on the settings here and well, let's try this out so we're this is this is an experiment that we're we're doing here of course that's what we do in the game lab and just as a matter of course We'll use zero as our just nominal setting. Um, if it's not if it's not going to be used, uh, don't want to make it minus one. Actually, I do. Hold on a second, because this is where it's going to be used, and we only we only want things to loop if it's transition type zero or three. Um, so that makes it very easy to kick it to default because we can just match what we do here with minus one because that is as you can see um, choose not strike move minus one is a way to go back That's perfect. We used to use a minus two here, um, or actually, well, we still do use a minus two here, but that's really the only place we use a minus two as a setting. Um, and because we used to actually set the non strike moves here, uh, interestingly, but we don't need to do that for this. This will, this will work out real well uh, for this. So let's go ahead and we're going to build the transition type variable here. Which is cool. And then choose non strike move is going to need a transition type in this particular area of the code. And um,
it looks like it's going to be another argument here. The second argument, uh, the third argument, sorry. Which would be fed into move settings. I'm just wondering if that's even necessary um, to do, though. Because in this case, this is kind of how that would look. Um, It's not bad. It's not bad. Really. It's not too bad at all, really. Um, but yeah, this is, I guess, really what we want to do is we want to get to this um, point uh, for sure. Okay, got another video done for you guys. Let's get that going. You guys know how I like to multitask. Or I guess use computers to multitask. Be more accurate. Alright, get that uploading. So this is pretty interesting. Um, this will definitely work as a transition type. That will definitely work. As it makes that transition. As will this. As will this. I'm looking for an easier way. It really is what I'm looking for. But I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it today. You know, have to make the settings in so many different places is not ideal. It's not ideal. Um, and especially if choose non-strike move is always going to be the same. the transition type on a non-strike move well I guess it's not exactly the same because you're actually choosing move number 12 it's actually a specific move which is here oh well yeah I guess see it's not really it's not actually a combo move really See if we can prove that. Yeah. Really? So really, the only place the transition type really should ever matter is with strike control. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, so we just discovered a little something here. Since the only place transition type matters is with strike control, because... Uh, choosing block, you know, 1430. Let's see if any either of these are in strike control. Choose block. Move 14, not there. About uh, move 30, not there. How about move 11? Not, not there, no. Those are the three block types. They don't really have transitions. Um, they could, I suppose, but that's not really that's not really the way they're set up. The IET is really for combos. 
So, interesting. So, since it's only used for strike control, we might be able to simplify this code a lot. So, um, we're going to do that. We're going to do that next. But before we do, go to docbrockgames.com and check out the alpha version of the game. Uh, you can check out the features, check out the two characters, you can check out some screenshots. Most importantly though, put your email address in here at the bottom and I'll notify you when the game comes out. Then come back to YouTube because we've got more AI to make. I'll see you there.